Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Catherine and it is day 19 of Designer December and I hope you all had an amazing break. If you were celebrating Christmas, Yule, Kwanzaa, Festivus, I don't know, I'm out of holidays. Isaac and I took a couple of days off for Christmas and now we're back. So Designer December, it was supposed to end on Christmas Eve. But you know, we kind of got ambitious with this and started adding more and more images and we're going to keep this going until we hit day 24. So we've still got five more days to go. Even though Christmas is over, we are going to keep adding to this until we've got all 24 updates live. And today's update is a big one. We have added two whole folders and what we're focusing on today is tables. So let me add a blank folder and I will show you the images. So we've added two new folders and they are called tables and fitness. The fitness one is actually pretty simple. It's a bunch of tables that are fitness related, obviously. So these ones at the top are water trackers. You just color these in when you drink a bottle of water or a glass of water or however your user measures water. These are just simple water trackers. And if you think your users aren't going to know what they are, you can just put a little note above them that says water tracker. So we've added those. We've also added a ton of these tables. So the first ones here, these are exercise trackers. And these are really for if you're doing weight exercises. Most people use them. They put the weight that they're working with on the top and then they put how many reps they do underneath that. I don't do these things. I, I do lying on the couch as exercise. Um, but I, I understand that's the way you use these. So you would put the exercise you're doing here, like, I don't know, bench press and then like five kilograms. That probably wouldn't be very much. And your reps under there. So that's how you would use that. We've also included these trackers here. These are running trackers. So we have them in groups of one like this. If I make this bigger, you can see that this is a running tracker. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You put the distance you ran, the time, how long it took you, your pace, heart rate, and any notes you want to include. We've also included double running trackers like these. So if you go for a run in the morning and the afternoon, which I think a lot of people do, this has two sets. So you can log two runs in a day. So I actually created a running tracker here that really just shows you how it looks in action. So I used the single running tracker and put one there and put morning run, one there for afternoon run, and then very simply best times. Of course, you can add whatever you want to to this. So if you want to put in more things with like water trackers, nutrition, you want to put a checklist, you can color in each day. I added that at the bottom. I thought that would be kind of fun for you to sort of color in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday when you were done. The stopwatch I got from our workout and fitness icons. And then I just put a little target in there because I thought it was a neat icon. And I colored everything black because I think giving it the sort of the, the black, black look that kind of is good for your alpha fitness exercise rrr, sort of designs. So that's how I created that one. And of course you can tone it down a bit if you don't want the black, you can make it gray like that. So that also works for different designs. So let's have a look at what else we have here. So we're just looking through the fitness images at the moment. And if I scroll down a bit, you can see we also have things like this table. This is a cardio tracker. So what a lot of people do is mix the exercise tracker, like this one, that would be the weights. And they'll also add the cardio tracker as well. So let's take a look at a fitness tracker that I created and you can see how it all fits together. In this one, I used a meal planner. So you can see there, there's the meal planner at the top. It logs what time you ate, what you ate, the serving size, calories, and all the stats for that meal. So you have all your nutrition at the top there. Then I added an exercise table here. So this is the strength weights table that we looked at just now. And then there's the cardio measurements you've got in there. So if you're bodybuilding, you want to see how big everything's getting, you can measure neck, chest, biceps, etc. And then there's the water tracker at the bottom there. 
So that's just a really simple way of putting these together. The great thing with this is all these templates connect together. All these tables really fit well together. So you can mix and match them, decide what you want to track here. I mean, I could get rid of the, the strength log and put in running tables instead. So you can absolutely sort of mix and match these. We've put all kinds of styles of these. So for these, I'm using a style that has a filled top, the black top. Probably going to need to move the cardio down there. You can use the make equal width and height like this. So you can really play around with this, get it to look how you want it to look. If I delete these ones, you can see I can move the exercise bar out, make that a little bit bigger. We'll make this small, put it in the corner. So you can just play with this, fit them in as you want to on your page. You can always add notes. You can always add spaces of lines, dots. For example, I'm going to put some lines in just here. You can add space for notes. You can add dates. You can add anything you want to this. So there we go. That's how I sort of just quickly move this around. Of course, it needs a little bit of alignment and work. It's easy to just mix these tables together to create a page that you really want to see. There we go. Make all the colors the same. There we go. That looks pretty good. So there you go. That's a fitness tracker there. Let's have a look at some of the other things we've added now because I've just shown you the fitness tables. We've actually added a huge, huge folder of other tables that we've helpfully called tables. So let's take a look at that. So. What's in the tables folder? Well, this is a really big collection of tables. And there's some really simple ones like this. There's a little month and week tag that you can put at the top of anything. Like you could just put that there and then you could draw a bunch of lines like this. Again, we're just going to fill it like that. That's how you can make like an exercise book page very, very quickly, very easily. Let's have a look at some more of these tables because that's just a really, really simple thing you can do just with those. So we've also put schedules in here. You've got your Monday to Sunday schedules. So you can put these anywhere on the page you like. You can make these small, you can make them big, you can mix them up with other elements. We've given you a little check mark. So if you want to put checks in any of the boxes, you can just make them small and add those where you want to. And then you can just copy and paste that and put check marks down there. We've included these kind of schedules, the time schedules, so you can pop those on a page. And again, you can see there's different styles. So they're all designed to go together. So you can pick the same style of each table you want. So if you want it with a filled header at the top, you can grab this one. If you want it with an unfilled header with just a very open table like this, you have that choice too. So there's lots of different styles you can pick from here. I recommend picking the styles that go together as you sort of mix and match these. Then we have simple checklists. These Monday to Sunday, these are great for appointments, for logging a task for each day or just something that you need to keep track of each day. And of course, you can tailor these with any of our other images. So if you're making like a cleaning journal using some of our house and house planner or cleaning planner templates, you could put these Monday to Sunday task lists in there in, and mix them in with those ones so that you can check off your cleaning tasks. We've also added just simple tables for goals, tasks. You've got checklists here. We've put in notes. These are general checklists that we've added here. So if I get rid of those, I can show you how that works. So these are like general checklists. So if you want to include a list of anything, really, you, anything that you want to keep a note of, you could make this for accounts even. You could put sort of, if you were saving money, you could put what the item was there and how much you saved. And the great thing with this is you've just got to add a title to it and can be anything you like. So, I mean, it could be shopping list, it can be budget, it can be whatever you want it to be. So you just put the text in there and turn that table into whatever you want. We've added these little 
tabs for Monday to, to Sunday. And these are kind of fun. You can add these in as is like that. And maybe you can add a picture at the end or you could add a space to write totals or amounts of something. And we've also included all of these individually, these Monday to Sunday tabs, and we've made them big and we've made them small. So the way those work, you can use these as tabs at the top of a page. Like that's kind of a fun way to use them. So you could just put them there so people know it's Monday. And if you were making a planner, you could have Monday through Friday up there or Monday through Sunday. So that's another way to use those. So you have lots of these. These are great for writing notes. You can put them in in rows. So you can have Monday to Sunday or Monday to Friday and people can write notes underneath them. We've also included a lot of these calendars and these are really like little checkbox calendars. We have all kinds of designs and styles. You can color them in in however you want them to look. I really like these with the light coloring. They look really nice. So you can always put this at the top of a page in a notebook, in a diary. It looks pretty neat like that. So there we go. Let's make the text on that a little lighter. So you can see how these start coming together. You can really create nice looking planners, pages like this. So here's one I made here. This is a sort of schedule, very black, chunky, blocky. I actually put an M for Monday there. I can get rid of that if you don't like how that looks. I could use the Monday design there. So we could grab one of these and put that up there if you want to put a Monday tab there. So this is awesome for making like a weekly planner. What you could do with something like this is you could create seven pages Monday through to Sunday and then save those. And the great thing with this is if you're a coach or you have some kind of plan that you want people to follow, like a fitness plan, a meal plan, maybe a study plan, a meditation plan, anything like that, you could create daily pages for a whole week and then save those seven pages and use the tangent builder to upload them back in and just repeat them 52 times and that would give you your journal for the whole year. So it's a pretty cool way of making an undated yearly book that people can use to track whatever it is they want to work on, whether it's fitness, cleaning or anything else. So that, that's another thing you can do with these. Here's another style of planner that I created. This is a very elegant planner. So I put your schedule there, tasks, goals. Again, these are just simple tables copied in, dropped in and moved around to where I think they look aesthetically pleasing and make sense. Um, and you have a little checkbox here. So if you want to track certain tasks or habits for the week, you can write them all down here. So I don't know you've got washing the dog, wash the car, clean the house, do homework, whatever it is. And then you can color in or check in these boxes every time you do one of those tasks. So at the end of the week, you pretty much have everything right here at a glance. So this would be really nice to mix in with other planner pages, with monthly calendars. You can really like explore these and create all kinds of things with these. For this image, I just used something from the motifs collection here. So there's actually a lot of really, really pretty designs you can use from here. This one, for example, just rotate them to fit. I really like using the butterflies for things like this. I think those look very pretty. And the other images that I like to use for these kind of designs, the postage ones are pretty fun. And I like using the infographics, these ones. I think these look pretty neat, especially on business planners. Those can look really fun and they can be useful as well because uh, you can always write things in the infographics. So that's, Another option you can use to put things in the corner of these planners. So we haven't just added planner tables to this. We've also added several other types of table to this folder. So one of those is address books. So this is kind of fun. These are just address tables that you can add to your pages and create a custom address book. So I was playing around with this one and I used some of the postage images. So those are coming from this folder here, the postage folder. And there's some really fun images there. I did a, a little did you know based off one of those images. But you can sort of put anything you want in here. 
So the postage images are really fun. You can choose something like, let's see, these ones. So if you just wanted to put artwork on here, you can absolutely do that. You can just put artwork. You can move these around if you want to add another table in here. We can just copy and paste that and put another one in there. If you just want to add an image like that. So you can really come up with whatever designs you want to do with this. If you don't like that font, you can change that around. Use something that you do like. So you can get different styles there. We also added passwords as well. So this is really fun. I know a lot of you like making password trackers. I have some reservations about password trackers from a security point of view, but I know there's a lot of grandmas and not necessarily grandmas who like to keep track of all their passwords. So we put in password tables here if you want to use those. I've used that color for them, this sort of darker shade of gray. You can make it black, you can make them light. I find with the white text, sort of the, the mid gray looks nice. And I added some of these really f pretty flower images, which are in flowers, which is right there. It's, it's fairly near the top. So hopefully you'll find these tables really, really flexible. You can create all kinds of planner designs. You can create password books, address books, and a bunch of different exercise books. We've added running trackers, cardio, strength exercise trackers, measurements, a whole bunch of other things. There's also lots of little bits and pieces under the tables that I didn't go through. BLD, I know a few of you have asked that, it's breakfast, lunch, dinner. A lot of people like to keep track of their meals each day, especially on a page like this. So you would put, you could put the BLD, you can put it anywhere on the page like this. So I can make that black there. I could also get rid of that box there. So there we go. That looks pretty cool. I'm going to make that the same width as these. And you also see there's a lot of grids you can use. People like to use these grids to track something over a month and put little crosses or ticks to mark whatever it was. We've also added a bunch more checklists. You can mix and match these with these empty tables. They look really nice with these empty tables. So you can create a space there and add the checklist to them. And as you saw, we have all kinds of weekly checklists, monthly checklists. We have these cool tabs that you can add to the top of your page like this one. So there you go. You can do a million things with these designs. I hope you really enjoy using them. Get creative with them. See what you can do with them. You can create all kinds of exercise books now, all kinds of planners, password books, address books. And we have five more days of updates coming soon. So have fun with this. I hope you're really enjoying Design of December. Sorry we're a bit late with it. We will have the next few days coming over the next week and we hope you enjoy them. Have a good one. Bye.